jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. So I'd like to say thank you to those of you that have uh, helped to pay for the website for the next month. So thank you very much. And uh, I'll post a, a thank you on my Facebook page later on. Also, I'd like to say thank you to Ali, who is the first person to donate money to the NHS charities which is what I'm trying to raise money for on my website. So thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Um, and that's it, just to let you know that you can download all of my recordings on my website for free. There are no longer any adverts on any of the podcasts. What I've done is I've left the continuous play playlists on my website. So you can go there and you can listen to this podcast. Press play and every single episode will play one after another. With no interruptions and no adverts. So yeah, <laughs> that's it really. Um... Another, I want to give a, a, a little shout out, well, especially uh, someone that's been listening to these whisper recordings and gains a lot from them, um, Lily. So I just want to say thank you, Lily, uh, for uh, your kind message that you sent. It's nice that uh, you gain so much from these recordings uh, it's lovely for me to hear from people so if you if you'd like to let me know what I'm doing right um, maybe what I'm doing wrong but I don't know if you'd like to let me know what, what you like about what I do how it's useful then please leave a comment on my website uh, maybe on the podcast, or you can send me directly to jasonnewland at hotmail.co.uk. That's my website uh, email address. So, now that's all out of the way, hopefully it's given you time to prepare yourself to feel relaxed and calm. And you probably, if you're used to listening to me, you're already relaxed and already feeling quite calm. And that's quite a nice, a nice thing to be able to do. A nice experience uh, to be able to just naturally, instantly feel more comfortable in your body. And when your mind starts to slow down, there really, it, it almost opens a gap in your mind for those well-being feelings, those feelings of comfort and uh, confidence, even pleasure to arise. Almost, you could say, like the sunrise in the morning. And because the sun's so bright first thing in the morning as it rises, the clouds generally can't get in the way of it. And the clouds just have to part so that that sun can shine. And to use the sun as an analogy... 
even though, especially in my country, we love moaning about the weather. But no matter what the weather's like, how many clouds there are, how stormy or windy or rainy or snowy, the sun always gets through every day. To make it light outside. So that just shows that even though we sometimes get clouded in our minds with thoughts and stresses and worries about the future or about the past or even the present, that sun, that shining light of calmness, healing, relaxation, and the ability to sleep is always with you, because you were born with that ability, born with that natural ability to just let go naturally. It's quite nice to know Quite nice to know that you Actually, naturally do this without any effort. Now, I like that idea. The idea of just allowing it to happen. Because you, you can't force yourself to be relaxed. You can't force yourself to feel tired can't force yourself to feel hungry. These things have to occur naturally. And they all do occur naturally. Maybe not always at the right time. <laughs> you know, maybe sitting in a classroom or a, an office or in a meeting or in a discussion long, drawn-out discussion about something, you may find yourself feeling tired, just naturally. It might be due to boredom. It might just be because you're doing something that you don't want to do, and your mind's switching off naturally, which I think is, is kind of okay, really, when you think about it that way. Obviously not useful if you're a brain surgeon. So you want to be able to focus. But these feelings happen. And quite often we ignore them. We just push through because we have to do what we're doing. We've got a job to do. We've got, you know, priorities and engagements to deal with. That's fair enough, it's just part of being alive. We can't always lay down on the floor and go to sleep whenever we feel tired. But there's less, there's less chance of you feeling tired at inappropriate times when you get a good night's sleep. appropriate time. Because sleeping is something that you can actually look forward to.
is I know for some people it's a chore. So busy, you want to do things, I don't want to go to bed. <sighs> but then now they have to go to bed because they have to be up in eight hours time or seven hours time. So they're laying on their bed almost like a, a small child, just agitated and, you know, resentful. Feeling that they're missing out on something. And I've done that loads myself. However, when you realise that sleeping is something that you can look forward to because it's wonderful. It's really nice to just lay down on a bed feeling relaxed. Just cuddling up either to your partner or to, in my case, I like to cuddle up a, to, around the quilt and the a pillow. I like to cuddle a pillow, which is possibly a bit weird, but I'll have to make do until I get myself a new teddy bear. You think I'm joking? I want to get a teddy bear. Anyway... I I wonder what it would be like for you if you actually thought of sleeping and going to sleep in a different way. Instead of being this chore or this thing that you have to do or this unpleasant experience that you need to, you're going to have to relive because you're maybe expecting it to be rubbish again like it was the night before, or, you know, that kind of stuff. Perhaps if you start looking at it from a different perspective and expecting a different result, Expecting yourself to feel relaxed instantly when you lie down on your bed. Expect your mind to start slowing down instantly. The second your head touches the pillow. Because that's what the pillow is there for. It's there to support not just your head but your brain and your mind. You trust that pillow to support the most important part of your body, which is your brain. You could argue, well, that's not my body, that's my head. Well, there's a little thing called a neck. It connects the two. Your brain is the most important part of your whole existence, your whole body, I'm just going to keep using the word body, I don't care, you trust that pillow to support your head, you trust that pillow to support your neck, again, such an important part of your body, the one part that you can't afford to damage. You can damage legs and arms and fingers and they heal and you're fine. You can still function. The neck needs to be looked after, needs special care. And you trust that pillow to protect and support your neck and your head. And your brain, which is inside your head. Ultimately, because it's not the head itself that, that's important, it's what's inside. Just like a chocolate bar wrapper. You don't care about the wrapper. It's that chocolate inside. I'm not comparing a brain to a bar of chocolate. I'm just 
was saying that the brain is supported by the pillow. So if you trust that pillow to support your brain, the thing that keeps you alive, the thing that's more important than any other part of your body, any other part, any other organ, the brain, Without the brain, we've got nothing. Yet you put your trust in that pillow to support your head and your brain and your neck where the spinal cord moves from your brain into the rest of your body. Then surely you can trust that pillow to support you to, during sleep, to support you to sleep, trust it with your sleep, trust it, trust that pillow, as you already do. Which means when your head touches the pillow, all those worries and concerns inside your mind can just disappear because you know and feel that you are safe and supported. And then you've got the bed. The bed supporting your body, the whole of your body. Without the bed, the pillow would be of no use, unless you're on the floor, but your body is supported by the comfort of the bed. And it feels really nice to know that you trust that bed with your body all the organs in your body, your limbs, every part of your body supported by that bed. And you know that regardless of what comfort you feel when you originally lay down in your bed, when you wake up, maybe with the alarm clock, and you need to get out of bed. That level of comfort physically is unrivaled. It doesn't matter how, what kind of bed it is that you're sleeping in. When you wake up, you're almost molded to the bed. It's almost like you and the bed are just one together one person and I've slept in some pretty awful beds over the years always woke up in the most comfortable bed possible because my body relaxed so deeply and your mind relaxes so very very muscles naturally relax and almost become part of the bed. And a bed has two, two uses. And one of them is sleeping. It's not a multifunctional piece of furniture. It's not a table where you can eat at it. You can use your computer on a table. You can write at a table, draw, paint, make a jigsaw puzzle, play cards, play board games, talk to someone at a table. You can do 
so many different things. A bed offers very little choice. So we know what a bed is for. sensation of letting go, also the feeling in your mind of total calmness spreading through your body, feels amazing, it's just pleasurable. Play. 
pleasure, the different muscles relaxing, it feels nice, I think relaxation is underrated in a sense of, you know, it's supposed to be the opposite to stress, but actually it's not about stress, it can be about pleasure. Deeply relaxing, it really, really feels nice. Really feels nice. A simple example of this is if you've been wearing shoes all day and you take your shoes off when you get home, or even maybe on the bus, or you know, maybe underneath your desk. You, Take your shoes off for a couple of minutes. Blissful. A blissful feeling. You magnify that through every part of your body when you lay down on your bed. Part of you might not even want to go to sleep. You'd be just so enjoying that pleasure and sleep just happens naturally it doesn't need your attention you just need to be there your body and your mind does the rest Enjoy the pleasure of deep relaxation. Take care and enjoy.